when doing straight lines earlier on in this video series what we did was we we first learned how to draw the straight line but then after that we learned how to work out the equation of the straight line if they gave you the graph and remember we then said that we have to use y equals to mx plus c and then m was the gradient and c we found at the end by substitution so now we move on to another part of parabolas because the last few videos we've been learning how to draw parabolas but now we need to know how to take a parabola's equation and then or take its graph sorry and then work out the equation and so the first thing we need to know is the general formula of a parabola and remember we said that it has to be something like this ax squared plus q but we said that the a and the q aren't important their letters aren't important so uh, you can even go kx squared plus w as long as you've got the x squared and you've got the y on the left then you're good to go the only reason I like to use ax squared plus q is because most textbooks and most teachers do that and so I don't want to confuse you at all and so typically the way you're gonna do this I'm gonna go write out its general equation and then what does q mean remember we said that q is the thing that shifts the graph upwards and downwards and we said on a straight line some most times they don't give us that value and we usually have to substitute but with a parabola many times they give you that value so how many units has this parabola been moved downwards well well done if you said it's been moved two units downwards and so the value of Q is negative 2 so how many letters do we still have to find well in the straight line how many letters did we have to find well well done if you said 2 only the M and the C remember the X and the Y they remain X and Y so we only have one more letter to find now this is very important when you only have one more letter to find substitute and that's exactly what we did with the straight line is we always used to find M first and then we used to substitute to find C so we're gonna substitute what substitute means is it means you must choose any point on your graph and plug it into this equation over here but don't use the point 0 and minus 2 because you've already used that one to find this over here so we're gonna substitute so I'm gonna choose point A so A's Y value is 0 so I plug it in the place of A I mean Y and then A I'm gonna leave as it is then whenever you substitute use a bracket so technically I should use a bracket over there the X value of a is 3 and then I'm gonna say squared and then I'm gonna say minus 2 so 0 on the left is equal to now 3 squared is 9 and 9 times a is just gonna be 9 a minus 2 and then to get a by itself I'm gonna take the 2 over to the left like that and then to get a alone you'll divide by 9 and so you'll end up with 2 over 9 and so the final equation of this parabola is going to be y equals to the a value which is 2 over 9 x squared will be left as x squared and then minus 2 